Hi guys, welcome to part 15 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Unusual spot for me to start a new part, but as you can see, my beloved spot is no more there. I had to condemn it as well as the one from the opposite side, and the reason will be clear in some seconds. One thing is for sure, they were extremely useful. If I have to work around the layout, uh, I have the perimeter and I can even reach a good depth for, from the perimeter, from the border of the layout. But if I have to work on the middle of the layout, and believe me, I still have a lot of work to do there. Uh, buildings, uh, grass, uh, street lamps, uh, wiring, props, and figurines to be placed. These 70 centimeters that I have condemned allowed me to reach, to get closer to the center of the layout. But now they are no more there. So in the next weeks, I will have so many problems to work there. Maybe I, add, I will have to jump from the back into the middle. I don't know right now, but let me show you what it is now the layout from the other camera. Sorry, passing through. Guys, and I'm here, guys. Sorry, the camera is very, very high in the sky right now. But uh, as you can see now, this part of the layout has 70 by 40 by 50, let's say 70 by 50 more centimeters. And uh, it gets also continuity to the layout, allowing me to add so many more uh, landmarks, buildings and uh, finishing completely in my carnival uh, slash circus section without problems. And even from this side, guys, here, I have continuity. Now that I have condemned the spot there, I have continuity. I will get a good, decent new background there. Uh, I can even add a little stair here to get access from the other level. So I will have access from this point here to, through these stairs there to everything else and there. Uh, why I did that. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, I also added some more rock paper inside the cavern there, the cave, to get the impression that it is a natural formation. It was too square, too naked. Maybe I will add even more rock paper, but now it is looking differently. And when I will do the final recap, it will be more clear. Let me get once again towards this camera guys sorry passing through once again the reason of this space is because monday evening just after i returned from work the little uh, crazy idea i had in my mind went absolutely crazy I had to listen to my idea, to listen to my craziness once again. <laughs> it's like it was mandatory. And uh, the idea, the idea, sorry, of adding a big, big, big building, 40 by 40 centimeters, even bigger than the, than the uh, scriptorium, not not really because the scriptorium is very, very tall, but a big, giant building uh, in plain middle of the empty space I have behind the docks right now. Maybe once again, I will go there. Uh, guys, here in this section there, where I have the pub right now and the, uh, and the blacksmith, there, a big giant building, very strange, with a very, very, very strange geometry, ancient and modern, that, to be sincere, I modeled in May, maybe in May, April, May, that I didn't know if I had the possibility to use it, but it is the first 
building I model it even before everything else but I 3d printed it in April May the fishing village is from February okay I started modeling some pieces there but let's continue that building it is strange it is gothic it is modern it is everything but it takes so much space so i had to come down this space to allow me to find some more space somewhere else for the rest of my lemax slash limax i know some of you pronounce it limax but in europe you pro france uh, italy etc we pronounce it lemax okay uh, it is uh, mandatory for me now to get some more buildings. Uh, you will understand why I love that building. I rushed uh, towards this modification <laughs> all the nights of the uh, of the week, but off camera, obviously, because because you know why <laughs> I swear it a lot uh, if something doesn't work for me. So sorry for that. I don't want to swear in front of a camera. Not that big swear, swearing, but I swear sometimes. Uh, let, let, let's continue. So uh, for the rest, I will try to get the second outer balloon in the air, then modify the eight of the uh, elevator because right now it is not uh, uh, tall enough to allow the cabin to reach the scriptorium and the cathedral. Another part of the cathedral have been modeled. It's still printing right now, sorry for the noise of the FDM printer. And let's try to show you some, some work. Let's go.
The elevator, guys, it urgently needs an update, an upgrade, simply because right now uh, the cabin there will not reach the uh, scriptorium slash cathedral level because in part uh, 14, in last part, I added uh, four more centimeters. The problem here, each and single one of the elements in here, those elements, the stacks, are six centimeter tall, okay? Let me go up, not to damage anything. Uh, there, like that. Those elements here, from this point here to this point here, are six centimeter tall. And with six centimeters, the cabin will go over the uh, scriptorium slash cathedral level. So what I did, I modeled a new stack similar in some ways to the one I've used for my original design, but it has only four centimeters uh, in eight, it is only four centimeters tall, 4.3 centimeters. This will help me getting the cabin to the correct level, okay? It is similar, I hope it will get uh, not noticed that it is a little shorter in eight when I will place it on the layout. Okay, now, what will I do? I will get this up and I will remove the cabin, okay, like that. I will place the extra element like that. And then I will take the cabin and the other elements and I will go once again inside like that then I will go down with the rope there and maybe I will rotate it once again but anyways you will see it in my final recap now the cabin and the elevator are at the correct age okay guys so and sincerely i don't think i will notice the difference between four centimeters and six centimeters stacks anyway this will be the update i will be doing uh, i will show you during the final recap what is the result with these four more centimeters now guys, let's talk briefly about my deep, deep craziness. I told you many times during this season, but even during past seasons, 
that I will never have enough space for adding every single one of the buildings from my Lemax collection and all I've printed, I've 3D printed and every figurines and every props. And I always do that. But instead of limiting myself, Monday night, very night, I decided to listen, to comply to what was asking my madness. To add a giant, strange and modern and beautiful building, at least for me. Because, uh, because I'm mad, guys, because I will occupy the only free space I have left with something between medieval times, modern times, and everything else. It is the sum of everything I love in architecture. I started modeling the fishing village around the January, no, late, late January, uh, first days of February, adding some props, the, sketching some of the uh, main buildings, and so decided to go there. But <laughs> I always had in mind the, the design the building I will show you in the next minutes as it will allow me to do some strange things and as I told you I've modeled this building in April May and kept and keep kept it apart secret hided in my PC not even 3d printed because I knew it was too big not as big as the scriptorium or the cathedral, but that th those are pieces intended to be there, to be like that, to be on a section apart. The building that I will show you, it is intended to be melted with the other buildings inside the common space, the free space. Let let's go, guys, enough talking. Let me show you the first element, guys. I have had to split it in many, 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 many pieces because it is very big. You can recognize my way of doing um, walls, stone walls, brick walls with different size of bricks as I used to do with my styrofoam cutter in different sizes. And these give deepness to the wall and this one has one wall from this side and another wall from this other side. This is a column. And then you will maybe rec recognize half of an arc, of a gothic arc there. I don't know if you can see that with the base column there and half of the, of the arc. And this will be one of the pieces of the pieces. So very difficult to paint once it is assembled. To this piece, and you can also notice that I added some holes here and there. Here are one, two holes, three holes there, and then from this side no holes because this is the end of the building. From the other side nothing. Two holes in here, one hole here that will accommodate some pegs having a very strange form similar to a barrel but uh, bigger diameter in the center in the middle lower diameter uh, on the extremities okay those pegs if modeled and 3d printed correctly will fit inside those holes like that and will help me join together the different pieces of the building but second piece is this one 
and if I place it like that, let me approach once again the camera, oops, and if I place, you can see continuity there, okay, column, 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 okay, column, 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 and then where I split it, I couldn't split the building in plain middle of a column, so I went this way, and this will be like that, will be assembled like that. Those two pieces have no holes and pegs to be assembled together because it's a job for the other pieces to get everything joined together. Let me go with some of the pegs there. Let me bring you to the scene and let's hope it is 3D printed correctly and modeled correctly. I still haven't cleaned it very well. I still have some, some 3D printing uh, uh, left there. Okay, good. Anyway, I will adjust it once it will be completed. And if I approach the camera, you can see that it is arced. It has the same walls there, the same bricks uh, as uh, the scriptorium has, uh, but it is not intended to be on the same section as the scriptorium. Base for the arcs, co base columns for the arcs there, and these will go there like that, even inside his model 3D, 3D printed almost correctly. And here you have another hole there and another hole here on the top. This will go like that, guys. Okay. And you can imagine the strange form these will these will have okay I've modeled the pegs, but I will not use the pegs. I think I will go with the resin. Okay guys, you may think, okay, already seen, a simple arc, a Roman arc with life inside here and something else on top of here because it's not finished. Already seen. Yes, I, I agree with you, it may be already seen like that. But imagine if I go like that. Okay, guys, imagine. I don't, I'm not saying I will do such a stupid thing as adding these on top of here, but imagine. 
imagine if it will be suitable okay i will remove this because before proceeding i will secure the parts together Good, guys, this is already 28 centimeters by 19 centimeters. It is a big, a big building. Okay, guys, it is a giant building. But, but let, let's continue. Let's continue, okay? Let me get another piece there. I'm not saying I will do such a bad thing like adding this piece there, but and if and if I still need to clean this.
Now guys, you can think, yes, good, but here, how can I access this level? You will access that level with this addiction, addition there. And this is why this is a giant building. This is 14 centimeters. Nineteen plus fourteen is twenty nine, thirty three centimeters by thirty centimeters. This is a huge building, guys, but I can have some scenes under the arcs here with people getting there, but especially I can have a scene there and a big scene here and another scene there with the stairs. So it is a big building and guys, I've also modeled the roof but I don't think I will use the roof. I will use it like a ruined building, like a ruin, like an ancient, because I will have a roof like that, okay? So preventing me to let you see what it is inside here, guys, inside there. But if I place a scene there and I can accommodate between five to six figurines here, two figurines there, some figurines inside. This is a building, yes, having an eight of 17 centimeters, but on two levels I can have some not a very large scenes behind it because I will not let you see anything. But on the peri perimeter, yes, then here, here, and here, some scenes. So it is not wasted, because this is a functional building, okay? I will not continue adding some more resin, because right now I need to place it on the layout and trying to add some more buildings.
Final recap of part 15 of the 2023 series and uh, I decided to start from my absolutely madness guys from the giant building there. I know it's not that giant but keep in mind that I have uh, 3D printed it at 80%. <laughs> it should be 20% bigger so here, there and there. Two and a half buildings for just that one building. But instead of having buildings not functional, such as every and single one of the Lamax buildings, this one is functional. Up there, as I told you, I will have something special. Okay? Free space there, guys. And please look that I've managed to get not all my collection but a good amount of buildings. Okay, guys, a very good amount. Still need to decide where to put the Tannenbaum clock tower because it's a strange building. I don't have any spot left. Uh, yes, maybe one in that corner there, but next week, guys, I will go to the Christmas shop so I surely bring home a new building and I've left some space for it. The hot air balloon will go there and the other one will go there, but high in the sky. Guys, I have managed to get all my old circus slash carnival figurines I've inverted the magician and the knife thrower simply because the point of view of the knife thrower assistant with this inclination, if put it here, uh, no way to see her. But this way the magician is visible and even the uh, knife thrower assistant is visible. Uh, that stage is important, like uh, for some tenor or some lyric uh, singer like that. So I put it, uh, the birded woman singing some opera there. The other stages are now complete and I don't think I will need to 3D print my last um, stage. No, I still have one uh, stage. <coughs> Sorry, I still have one stage modeled but i don't think i will be i will need it uh, i will surely not use that round at the platform for the cannonball man uh, but i wanted something that uh, ele could elevate him so i used the uh, the platform i used for my band from last season but i will model something else uh, added the, the Wine windmill back there. Uh, I will uh, um, reshape somehow um, the, the that level, guys. Let me go from a side where you haven't seen anything. Sorry, guys. From this point of view, is better. In this corner, I managed to get the school there, then the Morrison Manor there, then the church then the French patisserie and then Santa's storytelling. So one, two, three, four, five buildings in just that corner. Then guys, I've, uh, I'm missing some columns for the, uh, for the, and for the um, carnival section there, but I've also added some more balusters there 
in order to have um, some a perimeter around what is the carnival section so i will be able to get everything i need there keep in mind uh, that i also have some new figurines modeled especially for the 2023 village so i still need to place some more figurines circus carnival figurines come on guys mm. <laughs> i try every time i try to improve with something so guys the hot air balloon there will go in here but at 60 centimeters of eight uh, I told you I would have a place it in the air right in with this part 15 but the ropes are not completely cured the resin I've used with the same technique I used for the first um, ultra balloon but the the ropes are not cured perfectly so they tend to bend a little too much so i will uh, do it for next time but placing the outer balloon at 60 centimeters will help me get some other life scenes there so teddy bears there um, toss the ring in there guys then the lion cage you have see that then the nutcracker maker there the bistro the french bistro i will add something i even have a space for some more buildings on top of santa's uh, level there uh, what you have here guys is the central the central piece of the cathedral this piece here guys I know I should have uh, assembled it, but it is very late. We'll go there on top of the main of the main entrance. So this will go up there like that, and this will be the second part of the uh, second level of the cathedral and even a big uh, a big uh, uh, wall for the back side so you will have this instead okay you will have this in that section i will assemble it for next time here the windmill as i told you i will add some more styrofoam here with this strange triangle space i have left in order to get some life here the kids uh, having fun there will add some more movements movement sorry then then guys what you haven't seen me doing yes i will certainly add the um the i said the pond there keep in mind that i always place the pond in line with the ground so this will be not visible otherwise it is too elevated but it is the only spot because here i oops here i want some park some strange new park there uh, celebrating the new uh, building at least for me giant building guys uh, Claire's confectionery there the Slater's is there the um, blacksmith is there the pub Lucy's chocolate shop Nora's Christmas boutique some carolers too elevated from the ground also I will dig a hole beside the new building uh, the conservatory gardens there a home for for christmas there uh, and then the market because a uh, village needs a market plus the new building nothing modified there i still have a place for some uh, for some cart some uh, candy cart here and there i still have a plenty of space for small things for small props uh, then what else guys okay here guys I added some fences maybe I will need some more but right now th those are prototypes I, uh, and I just have 
three of them and also this strange thing there you can imagine by the shape that I will place something inside there okay something on a paper something written this is also modeled following uh, Vikings okay horns guys like horns and tooth two horns like Vikings would have used but modernized a little bit and guys right now I will reveal you the first item for this little section here guys you will not understand I think maybe yes maybe not but it may <laughs> drive you crazy guys I will go this way guys okay and I will keep the secret for now on maybe I will uh, place it somewhere else but right now it is like that no need to name it you have uh, some doors so you have some doors there and you have something inside okay a drawer something like that why on the hell i'm putting that there secret guys but it will be part of this big giant scene you have here okay guys maybe i will place it somewhere else uh, right now i don't know sincerely okay i don't know because i still need to have other elements to the scene okay but it's a starting point all the other elements are ready but i'm not ready to reveal everything then i also have some props here from last season that i will add to the docks yes i'm crazy guys yes i'm definitely crazy okay i'm definitely crazy like that um, then obviously I don't have enough um, balusters for the um, cathedral slash scriptorium level so right now I'm 3d printing with my resin printer some more but tonight I will stop because I urgently need to, to 3d print some more uh, columns for the carnival section it is starting to get there guys even him he concur to that even the uh, fisherman concur to that i don't know the old lady if she concur to that do you concur to that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes sorry guys i'm crazy and dumb so as you have seen i needed to condemn also the alpha circular section there but maybe i will get some more inclined buildings there uh, i still don't know but a big part of my lemax collection concerning the buildings are now in place so this is real a uh, christmas village a uh, lemax slash something else christmas village and uh, not just a uh, 3d printed christmas village uh more than uh, more than 200 figurines to add obviously the old figurines for the scriptorium but i've also modeled some new figurines for that level already printed already primed needs to paint i have a lot of painting to do but it will add some life even there guys uh, I will need to modify so many things, but I can affirm, I can stand that I'm not behind the schedule this season, but you have seen me working very hardly on trying to move to slide some of the buildings because I don't have any more of those two. I don't have the spots ready for me and those spots were very useful so 
if I wanted to work on those buildings there, I will need to work from the backside, plunging down. I will work on a ladder and then plunge down to work there. I still needed to have the wires connected to the buildings, some other things, street lamps. Oof, but it is like that, guys. Okay. What else? I am forgetting something. Maybe yes, maybe not. Uh, Freddy is there. The ringmaster is there. The carolers are there. Yes, I will not have some space for Santa's swing there. I always use a Santa swing, but the Santa's section is too small this season. Uh, and I have some space reserved for the little elf building and all the figurines or the reindeers, etc. But up to you to judge. Uh, I've not done the gathering, as you know, but this is taking uh, the shape. Oh, yes, I've narrowed the distance between the fountain there and the balusters because it was too space in this this way uh, the camera will get everything from every direction correctly and even from a higher level you will get and see everything i still need to align the sum of them but before i need to place some grass there and some grass there Yes, I will add some grass this season, okay? Then, then many, many more. Ah, okay, yes. The elevator, guys. I don't think you can notice that I've added a smaller stack, a shorter stack, uh, just uh, above the cabin there. But now it is uh, at the same level. The cabin will be at the same level with the... Uh, scriptorium and the cathedral guys that's all i think another hotel balloon will appear i think by next uh, part part 16 and i will go from there guys i know not too much <laughs> you have not seen too much work but some little work see you for the outro guys Voila guys, in just a snap, the layout has completely changed. I know, not really a snap, a little longer, let's say a weekend. But now, I have no doubt, I can affirm, I can stand behind the fact that this is really my 2023 Christmas village. Why am I so sarcastic? Because I know that out there, there are many, many, many purists that shouted at me during the past weeks. Come on, a bunch of 3D printed buildings, some props, some water, and he has the courage to call that a Christmas village. Where are Lamax slash Limax buildings? Where are the figurines? The Lamax figurines are not there yet. But three quarter of my Lemax building collection is there. 10 to 12 buildings out of the scene because I have no space for them. So now, this is my Christmas village. My unique Christmas village because, enough being sarcastic, half of the surface is occupied by my Viking Christmas Village, the other half by Lemax Buildings and everything else. Still needed to add more than 200 figurines plus the 20 to 30 new figurines I have modeled for the Circus slash Carnival, for everything else, for the Viking Village. Many, many more things to come. A new, a new dessert. Hotel Balloon will come next week, I think, if I had the time to 3D print it. Because next Saturday, Saturday 14 of October, I will organize my annual trip to the 
Christmas store to Peraga Christmas store. Finally, a little late than usually, but I will go there and bring home a new building, a new building from uh, 2023 Lemax collection. Let's hope to have time also to film part 16. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give a big, big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing once again my absolutely awful English. And see you next time. Maybe. Bye guys.